Mr Bates versus the post office, the TV drama could yet become a real-life court drama. The real-life Mr Bates hinted at bringing his own prosecution if the police don't bring one of their own. It wasn't six hours of questioning by lawyers from the public inquiry into the Horizon scandal that drew out Alan Bates' intentions, but talking to journalists when his evidence was over. During that evidence, Mr Bates talked calmly and unemotionally as ever about what he's been through and what hundreds of other sub-postmasters have been through too. That was until near the end when he was asked what he thought of the post office. Mr Bates let rip. It is an atrocious organisation, he said. It needs disbanding. It is a dead duck. It is beyond saving. <laughs> The recent drama hasn't told the end of Alan Bates's story. No, 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 no comments. I'm going to not until, not until I've given my evidence. He arrived at the inquiry this morning for what could easily be a second series. Can I call Alan Bates, please? Yes, of course. Inside, his character was as portrayed. Understated. I swear by a mighty God. But wrongly underrated by the post office in newly revealed internal documents. He became unmanageable. Was that ever explained to you, that you became unmanageable? No, not at all. That you, quote, clearly struggled with accounting and despite copious support, did not follow instructions? Uh, firstly, did you struggle with accounting? No, no not at all. Were you given copious support? <laughs> no. <laughs> they, they just decided they were going to make... Um, a lesson of my case. But by 2013, he knew it wasn't just his case, with an email proving he told then post office boss Paula Venels many of the prosecutions should never have taken place. They're an atrocious organisation. They need disbanding, it needs removing, it needs building up again from the ground floor. The whole of the postal service nowadays, it's, it's beyond, it's a dead duck. Listening to that, the man who now leads the post office. Today, Nick Reed attended the inquiry relatively unnoticed. You must know whether or not your predecessors lied about the problems with Horizon. As I said, I, I'm not going to go into the specifics of what my predecessors did. It is very much up to them to come to the inquiry under oath and to tell Sir Wynne and the inquiry just specifically what went wrong, why it went wrong and what happened. We'll hear from them in the coming weeks, including former boss Adam Crozier later this week, Angela van den Bogert in April, who was a right-hand woman of Paula Venels, the chief executive who oversaw so many prosecutions. Now she and others may face their own if Alan Bates gets his departing wish. I think we will see some. Whether it's undertaken by the authorities themselves or whether we as a group have to bring some if the authorities fail us once again. We'll have to wait and see. The hero of this real-life drama is excited to see the next episode. Paul Brandt, News at 10.